Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, Jennifer is having a rough time at her new boarding school. From the bitchy classmates to the abusive staff and teachers, she really just wants to go back home. Of course, it doesn't help that there's also a killer stalking her and her friends. Tonight's movie, Phenomena. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! Slap that skull, everybody! Anyways, oh, uh, it's the Cuts, Cuts, and Sluts edition, of course, and tonight we have a very special review, a review of a movie by one of the greatest horror auteurs in existence, and that is the maestro himself, Dario Argento, in his 4K awesomeness from Synapse Films, my friends at Synapse Films, Dario Argento's Phenomena, also known as Creepers, uh, and what a lovely addition. It comes with a poster, a uh, beautiful, beautiful book, booklet here with a bunch of words and pictures. Now, it's a, a, it's kind of like, I don't know what you want to call it, an essay or it's a, an article basically discussing the, the movie and its uh, impact and, of course, uh, the actual movie right here. And beautiful artwork, a bunch of uh, who say press material pictures and uh, movies themselves and a reversible creepers uh, cover artwork which honestly I don't like the creepers artwork all that much but some people might like it and it might be nostalgic if they've seen the movie as creepers but anyway so what is this movie about well this movie stars as stars Jennifer Connelly, the lovely and beautiful and talented Jennifer Connelly, who plays a girl named Jennifer, <laughs> who is the daughter of a famous movie star who has been sent to Europe, uh, to a European boarding school. And while she's there, um, we find out that this uh, boarding school has been uh, beset by a savage killer who's been stalking and murdering the young ladies who dare venture out alone after bedtime. And uh, Jennifer actually has an issue uh, with sleep. See, she's a sleepwalker, and one night she sleepwalks and witnesses uh, one of the murders, and then all uh, finds herself wandering uh, to a house that is owned by an entomologist who just so happens to be working with the police on trying to figure out who the killer is. And he discovers that Jennifer has a unique ability to communicate with insects. Insects communicate with her and love her and she loves them. And he figures that he can use this ability to try to find the murderer. So, oh man, <laughs> will they be able to unravel the plot and find the murderer and stop the sadistic killing spree, or will they end up being victims themselves? Anyways, let's get to those scores, shall we? Violence and gore, I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5. We have multiple decapitations in this movie. We've got some hard rocking murder. I mean, yeah, there's just sort of a hard rock... Uh, soundtrack going on uh, during some of the murder scenes and we have some absolutely nasty grueling uh disgusting uh things we have like a death pit that's filled with bodies and probably you know chunks of flesh and just nasty vomit inducing oh every time i think about her <laughs> getting into that would be hard oh, nasty of course you know insects of all kinds and you know, rotting body parts and shit like that. So anyways, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 um, because it's violent and filled with gore and nastiness. So there you have it. Uh, shock Valent, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 5. Um, there's really a solid shock uh, when it comes to uh, sort of killer review reveal in a way. Um, 
<laughs> but you know, it's I was like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Oh. Uh, but for the most part, it's more about atmosphere than it is for uh, the actual like jump. And the 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 story doesn't really have as many twists and turns, and uh, how you would say like uh, misdirection as some other films uh, that are kind of in this sort of category. So, you know, I think they're solid enough, but they're not uh, overly filled in this uh, in this movie. So two out of five. Moving on to plot, I'm going to give this a three out of five. I enjoy the plot. It uh, is an interesting uh, mystery. It definitely has a, a unique feel to it because of the whole uh, insect and uh, psychic powers. Uh, some of it comes off a little like... I don't know. I don't want to say the word cheesy, but a, a little. Meh. I just it's hard to describe because it's it's like a little ridiculous, and I think the plot also suffers from sort of like um, losing losing uh, itself for for a moment. Um, you know, toward the the middle to the beginning of the end, where like in the beginning you have more of this. Uh, ghostly, ethereal, I like to use that word a lot, but it really does kind of uh, encapsulate the feel, it's otherworldly feel, uh, dreamy feel, uh, the beginning of the movie, and it sort of loses that and uh, towards the end of the film, and I think I, I would like it to at least continue that a bit more. Um, the the, the bug thing, uh, like I said, is unique, but some people might find that to be cheesy, I guess. Um, but I think it's a, it's a, it's a, a good, um, different angle uh, to attack this film. Uh, and, like, it was predictable. There was, there was a very, you know, very predictable thing that was going to go on in this movie. Um, that was pretty much just telegraphed, almost, you know, um, telegraphed quite early. And because of that, you know, when it happened, you're just like, oh, yeah, well, this is, a, this is what was going to happen, right? So I, I knock it down a little bit for that. But uh, overall, solid, above average, enjoyable plot, three out of five. Moving on to acting, I'm giving this a four out of five, Jennifer Connelly. Uh, Donald Pleasance, who plays the entomologist does a great job. I mean, he does a great job in everything anyways. And, you know, he's going to be, uh, he is appearing multiple times this year <laughs> on, on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. So, I mean, it just, it just so happens that he's just in, you know, entertaining movies. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, they do a great job. I think, uh, oh, the person who plays the one woman, I think it's Nicoletti, but don't quote me on that. Uh, she is, she does a pretty good job. And, uh, yeah, overall, uh, very, very nice, very well acted. Uh, even the, the, um, the, the school girls, you know, uh, weren't, uh, weren't a detriment to this, Film, so that's four out of five. Uh, moving on to nudity, and um, this is going to be a zero out of five, which, you know, I mean, it's a movie uh, about uh, a high school girl in a high school boarding area. You know, sure, it's European, but yeah, it's safe to say nothing, nothing's going to happen. Okay, nothing. So zero out of five. Um, my enjoyment factor is going to be a four out of five. Almost, almost five out of five. Though the 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 kind of subplot with the the school um, giving her like <laughs> therapy because of uh, the sleeping sleepwalking uh, thing and the you know the mean girl subplot, uh, I think was kind of necessary and is part of like losing its uh, its uh, momentum and itself kind of in the uh, halfway. Uh, through the movie, uh, I think that that kind of brings it down a bit. But other than that, it's beautifully shot. Of course, Dario Argento. Uh, I love the hard rock and soundtrack when when the when the uh, the killer is uh, doing his thing, and um, I I it just you know I love the performances. 
I love the kind of uniqueness with the the insect though they don't really do uh, they do a bunch, they do stuff with it but they don't really do like crazy because uh, you, you almost have like idea like you know, when you look at the title called creepers you think that she's using them to like do her evil bidding and stuff like that which is not quite the case I mean there is a scene uh, <laughs> at the boarding school but that doesn't you know kind of keep the whole like, dreamy of of the situation uh, going but uh, yeah overall very solid very solid right up there and, and I think you know I've seen some mixed reviews and I can kind of understand where they're coming from but for to me this is just you know a bunch of classic Argento and uh, really strong really solid movie four out of five my overall impression is a four out of five uh, you know, this is a this is a solid, great experience. If you love Dario Argento, of course you're gonna love this. Uh, but it is uh, as as a horror movie. It's unique. It's fun. It has just this ambiance and this this airy, otherworldly, dreamlike quality to it that I think uh, helps uh, you know set it aside. Uh, set it apart from other movies and uh yeah i just really like it i just really like it i love it actually i do anyway so four out of five overall impression the average is out to a very respectable and strong 3.1 out of five so there you have it dario argento's phenomena on 4k uhd from our friends at synapse and uh Please tell me what you think. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, thank you once again for watching another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. Uh, you know, do all the things that, you know, the YouTube things and whatever. And I will see you next time. And remember, Internet, stay scary. And also... Um, your school is having uh, a serial killer um, cutting down young girls who venture out alone at night, perhaps during this period of time it may be wise to, I don't know, not to venture outside alone at night. Common sense, I think, right? Right? I mean, these are teenagers and um, and stupid and think that oh it's not gonna happen to me even though I'm like ex exactly the type uh, of person that this person is going to look for and kill and I'm in the actual kill zone you would think but then we wouldn't really have a movie but you know, anyways uh, yeah just take a take a few weeks off Wait till, wait till it's caught, you know? Why risk it? Why risk it? That's why, indeed. <gasps>